Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at uh, constraining objects uh, using uh, a couple different um, constraints here. So mainly we're going to focus on constraining um, objects using uh, the mate and insert constraints. Uh, but we're going to focus on like round, like difficult situations like round objects and square holes and stuff like that. So, okay, so the first thing we're going to do here, and we're putting together this VEX robotics assembly. Uh, it's, you know, a nice thing to put together because there are a lot of parts available. You can search on uh, Appendix 9 Autodesk Vex Robotics Parts Library here. So, um, okay, so let's let's take a look. So the very first thing we're going to do, and remember I practiced this a couple of times, so, uh, so just, you know, be patient with yourself. Um, so the very first thing we're going to do here is that we're actually going to um, mate. Um, this, this object here is not flat, interestingly enough. These bearings are used all the time in VEX. Uh, that's how we attach things, right? So these bearings are not flat. Notice we have a little bump out on the back, and that's going to save our bacon here. Uh, <laughs> so you actually are going to use that little bump out to constrain. So we just went ahead and and uh, and select right there. So we're going to constrain, and we're going to select constrain. I'm sorry, mate. Mate is the type of constraint. So we're going to choose that tiny little spot right there, and we're going to choose the hole that we want that to go into. So in this case, it's going to be this hole right here. Whoops. And we're going to zoom right in on that. That hole right there. And we're going to go ahead and click apply. Okay. All right, the next thing that we're going to do is that we are going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and move this out again, right? So, whoops. Now be careful where you move this stuff because it can get pretty confusing. Okay, so we have this. We're going to go ahead and move this out again. Uh, and we're going to make it so we can select the next... Um, so we want to be able to select the next uh, part of that hole. Now, keeping track of where this thing is is kind of fairly difficult. Okay, but basically we just have to choose. Um, so we gonna we chose one on this side before, if you can see that. On this side, we want to choose the top version of that now. Okay, so so um, and we're gonna do kind of a combination of zooming in and out here um, to kind of get that where we need it to be. All right, so in theory, uh, we can put it on any one of the holes in this row here, okay? So in theory, we can put it right there, depending on where we want it, and apply. So notice that I had to, I, I, what I had to do there is I, I, had applied the, I had applied the constraint to the matching on this plane right here, right? So it could have been this plane, this plane of this hole, this plane of this hole, Anyone in this row would have worked for that second constraint. Okay, I just chose one at random. Okay, then I constrained, you know, the top surface of that little bump out on the back of this bear black bearing there, and I constrained it to one of these, uh, one of the um, a corresponding face right here. So it could have been anyone, you know, literally anyone in this row on this top face. Okay. All right. So at this point, this is not fully constrained yet. So notice it will slide around. Notice that we can still slide it back and forth through the object. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and do our final mate here, and that mate is just to uh, to glue the backs together. So we're going to click Constrain, and we're going to go ahead and click to, uh, Mate the back, and Mate the uh, surface. Click Apply, and we're going to go ahead and click Close. All right. So at this point, we have this this bearing done. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we know that we're going to be putting all of these things together. All right. Um, so what we want to do at this point is we want to go ahead and we want to start mating things to the center line of these circular holes. All right. Um, and then we can go ahead and uh, and put them together in a little bit. So we're going to create kind of an exploded view of this here, right? Um, so there's kind of a, a kind of a specific way we want to do this. The first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and uh, we want to go ahead and um, mate the surfaces together. Okay, so in this case, we want one of these to go here, 
All right, we also, and then we're gonna, you know, these are just mate mates, okay? So mate mate here, and click apply. Notice I can do more than one of these. Now because we want this surface here, mate mate, right? So we want this surface to go back over here, right? Okay, then we want the screw, we actually want the screw to be uh, both kind of on the same side, right? Because that's gonna, it's gonna make sense. And we want the screws to be mated. So we're going to go underneath here. See the underside of the screw. And we're going to click apply from the last one. We're still on mate mate. Okay, so we're going to grab the surface of this underneath of the screw. We're going to apply it there. And apply. And we're going to do the same thing to the other screw. Okay. Alright, remember we're looking for that little arrow to come up. There we go. And apply. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, and do the same exact thing to the screws, right? So everything's kind of oriented. We're kind of orienting, thing, orienting things based upon the constraints, right? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this surface to the surface there. Click Apply. This other bottom surface to the bottom surface here. Notice how I'm just gluing these things together, okay? All right, so now everything's kind of where we want it. Um, and notice how we had a mate. I'm going to click cancel. I'm going to select this uh, this gear here because we did a, a mate on accident. So we're going to go ahead and delete, and then we can move it around. All right. So okay. So that's the next thing there. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're basically going to. Um, oops, and I did the wrong thing, didn't I? These nuts were not supposed to be mated to the um, the metal, were they? They were supposed to be mated to the um, to the uh, outside of this bearing. So let's go ahead and redo that. So constrain and uh, we're going to go in and mate. And we're going to do it to the top surface of this bearing. Notice how I'm zooming in and out. And apply. And using the cube, I'm going to go ahead and click the surface again. Okay, zooming out, and we're going to go ahead and place that there. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to kind of put this all together by mating what's called the center lines of the holes. Okay, so so when you're using when you're putting round things together with other round things, what we're going to do is we're actually going to mate the center lines of the holes. Okay, so for example, it's really specific. So it's not the green dot. Okay, it's not the surface, it's this dotted line. So you have to move your mouse around until you see this dotted line. Okay, so there's the dotted line on the shaft collar, there's the dotted line of the hole, and apply. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing with the screw, dotted line of the screw. Now, in this case, you might have to click cancel and move things out of the way. Notice that I don't really know where this went, by the way, so I'm not gonna move things around while I'm doing this. Okay, so I'm gonna click the dotted line, dotted line and apply. Uh, I'm going to have to move this one as well. Okay, constrain, dotted line of the center line. So this is a mate mate on the center line of the hole. Center line of the hole and apply. Now we're going to go ahead and do the back. Um, so we can actually do the screws right now. So mate mate, right? So we can get a center line of this cylinder right here and the center line of the hole. Okay, we can do apply and center line of the cylinder, center line of the hole, and apply. Okay, so there is our initial setup, right? So we have our bearing, we got our shaft collars, okay? Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, uh, and uh, mate our um, gear on, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to do mate uh, to one edge of the of the of the um, of the axle, and we're going to mate that to one of the face of the inside of the hole in the um, gear. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and move this. Oops, whoops. Okay, we're going to go ahead and move this over. Can move it over the other way. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click constrain, and we're going to click here, and whoops.
and whoo, kind of hard to see. I'm going to click cancel there just so we can easily see it. So we're going to click constrain. We're going to click mate and whoops. And mate the other sign and click apply. Okay, so at that point we have the, you notice that um, the, um, the axle was actually in the inside of it, but we haven't um, we haven't actually positioned it. You know, we're kind of we pushed it into the hole, but we haven't locked it into place yet. So we're going to click Constrain. Finally, we're going to hit the la the last side. This is going to be a mate flush, right? So we're going to flush up the side, and then we can actually do an offset. So for example, we could do negative five. That's going to put it way out, right? Okay. We can click on this shaft collar. Notice that we did a flush with the negative five. We can do, uh, let's just do, uh, uh, let's do one. Okay. And notice that put it in the back of it. Okay. Um, so let's do negative one. Okay. And that's kind of where we wanted it. All right, so there we have it. We got the we got everything in place, and we're going to go ahead and uh, do our final thing here. Um, so essentially, the last thing we want to do is we actually want to insert the the axle into the hole here. So we're going to go constrain, and we're going to switch to insert. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and click uh, click the uh, shaft itself, and we're going to click the hole. Okay, and notice that that is now inserted into the hole. Okay, but now we do have to do an offset. So let's do a negative three. Oops. Okay, let's go back here. So instead of negative three, let's do negative uh, 1.5. Okay, and there we have it. So that is our fully constrained model there. Notice that the, the, the thing can turn. Everything looks great. Okay, so those are some those are the mate constraints and insert constraints on round and square objects. Uh, best of luck.